Hello everyone and welcome to Orange University. On tonight's episode, the real Slickshot, Lila undefeated Slickshot. This car is such a funny combo that I, I did not see it. Somebody made a great deck with it and I kind of messed around with it and tried to make it a better deck, but I'm not sure if I did. I think this is a much more aggressive deck the way I made it, but the idea is that I want to use Lila's combo in order to play either push pull or float sam and jet sam uh, on the small mana side right float sam costs two push pull costs two but lila just says that whenever a multicolor spell is cast or a multicolor instant sorcery spell i cast from my hand i get to exile that spell and then play it or, and then it gets plotted which means now i can play the pull side or the jet sam side for free so that's kind of the idea of this combo and in order to do that, we have a lot of fast cards to uh, make that happen. We have four Gold Hound to help us kind of curve out a little bit better in the early game because we're always going second and I'd really like to be able to curve out with extra treasures in the uh, in the early game. All right, and then I have four Tainted Indulgence and four Molten Collapse. These two mana spells work really well with Lila Undefeated Slick Shot because now I can card draw and discard cards. I can Molten Collapse to uh, uh, destroy two different creatures on two different turns. Right, It's very useful uh, the, uh, the way these combos work out. But since I'm playing a bunch of multicolor spells, I also have widespread thieving. Whenever I cast a multicolor spell, I get a treasure token uh, that combos with Lila. Four of each. Then I have two Maestro's Charm to help me dig uh, and also help me gain three life if I need to or uh, deal five damage to an opponent, right? Or not to an opponent, to a creature or a planeswalker. Uh, usually my opponent controls. Then of course I also have four ill time explosion. If our opponent goes wide, we got a board wipe here. And then push and pull, full sam and jet sam for the combo. And of course, in order for the combo to really work, uh, we have to have four vein ripper and one calamity galloping inferno in the deck. The idea is if I'm able to just, uh, just toss vein ripper in the graveyard, then I can pull it out. That's the good card we want to pull out with push pull. Uh, we can also pull out one vein ripper and one calamity, which will be even better because calamity can copy copy Vein Ripper with the saddle ability and when he attacks I get two more Vein Ripper attacking and two Vein Ripper is 12 damage plus whenever a creature dies we get we get to deal two more damage if we have three Vein Rippers on board every time a creature dies our opponent takes six and we gain six that's a you know a, the in the uh, official term we call that a butt load all right so that's kind of the idea of the combo in this deck but to get this deck to work it's very important that in the early game we aggressively mulligan for a gold hound and try to hit widespread thieving on turn three in order for us to lila with one of these combo cards on turn four or five it's very very fringe but whenever that works it works really well and if it doesn't work we also have a back side of this deck which is just value right just uh gold hound can give us a lot of treasure in the early game to curve into widespread thieving which can give us a lot of treasure in the mid to late game and in that mid to late game we can use those treasure and the lands that we actually have to play vein ripper and we can just hard cast vein ripper because uh, you know it's a pretty good card on its own six five flying ward so we can block basically anything and uh, whenever our opponent uh, targets it because of the war they have to sack a creature so they immediately lose two life and we gain two life so whatever board presence our opponent has it's gone they have to sack it to kill our vein ripper and then when they lose all of their aggressive or tempo uh we then push pull we can hard cast pull as well and then bring the vein ripper back the crazy card about this combo is that we don't have to always use lila to trigger it we can sometimes just hard cast these and hard casting these can also win us the games now in order for this to really work out like i said we need to have uh gold hound in the early game so in order to do that i have four spire bluff canal and four black cliff cleaves i have the four uh oh, not four three each right i have three of the fast lands for red blue and red black i want to be able to get red early i also have a mountain to, to get up there then we have two dark slick shorts these are the fast lands for uh, the early game turns where we can actually let me put all this here right for the early game turns where we can play stuff also as a cavern of souls sometimes yes but uh, we can't really use cavern of souls on any of these because chances are we're gonna name either 
uh, assassin or vampire or we're gonna name human rogue right so you know human or rogue that's what we're gonna name for our cavern of souls because we don't want those cards to get countered uh, there's only one in the deck to fill out the mana curve uh, i did think about how to add in another one but i could not justify it because we have a lot of color pips early game so ca cavern actually hurts a lot if we just name cavern uh, name anything that we don't use uh, for cavern so uh yeah this is even though it's an untapped land it's not a land we can utilize early game and then we have two shipwreck marsh two storm carved coast two hunter ridge and four xander lounge for slower slower games now that's all i got for this deck now let's go into the games all right our opponent is S it's S1 ADA. I don't know. Sada? Siada? We gotta go first. Turn one. No Gold Hound, but we get to go first. So I'm gonna keep. Let's see what happens. Our opponent is roping. Alright, well, I guess we'll wait for. I mean, I've finally get a good hand, and of course. You know, when everything works, nothing works. When you get to go first with a good hand, your opponent's not in the game. So you don't get to enjoy this game either way. That's how I feel about Arena. Are they mulliganing? They're not looking at their cards. So, I'm not sure what they're doing. Good hand, not great. Can't go hound on turn one. I have eight. Actually, I have nine. How many do I have? I lost count. I think I have nine uh, fast manas that are red. 9 or 10? I know I have a mountain. I'm not sure if I have um, the other thing. The uh, Sokazin. I think I cut the Sokazin, but I'm pretty sure I have uh, 8 fast lands that are black, red, and blue, red. Because I know that I want to go out on turn 1. Couldn't draw it. Draw Xander Lounge. And then all these tap lands. I can Maestro's Charm next turn, but that's not very good. Yeah, yeah, just play mono red and rope. That's the smart thing to do. Boros and rope. Uh, well, that different kind of rope, right? Anger. Anything else? Plot. I mean, you got it. Black clip, please. I mean, I can blow it up, but I'm pretty sure something else is happening. Do they have a protection spell? Blessed Defiance. Lifelink, and it dies, gets a 1-1. One, one. Um... Okay. Lightning Helix, my face. Uh, it's still five damage. What? What the heck? What was that? All right. Well, it doesn't matter how good or how bad our opponent's play is. It only matters how bad we draw, which are all ends. Another plot. Another plot is that the slick shot is highway robbery. Alright, let's draw two cards. What are we gonna get? Jesus. Can we get more lands, please? You can cast a card from his graveyard, a lightning helix. It's not really that good. Sacrifice my whole board just to cast lightning helix. I can do it. Or do I want to do it? I could also widespread thieving. Oh, by the way, draw another land. So, yeah. 
Lila's gonna be pretty useful, but I'm not getting it right now. So I can Lila, Moon Collapse. If I don't take the Lila, it gets put away, right? So I might as well take the Lila. I don't know. Well, all of these are pretty bad. I, I, I have no idea, but yeah. So we cannot punish our opponent's bad plays because our play is way worse. Like, you look at this crap, but we draw how many lands? Literally, only cards we draw are lands. Is that either discard a card or freaking sack a land? Is it sack a land? Yeah. Alright, you got four mana. What do you have? Cold Breaker? Um, there's a stick. If there's a stick, I'm not sure if I want to block with a gold hound, right? Do I want to false him? Hmm. I will lose my gold hound if I block and then they buff it. Now, I have a lot of two mana plays, but none of them are useful. Hey, a Ving Ripper. Whenever a creature dies. That's interesting. I can do the Ving Ripper thing right now. Or I can mill them. Uh, I'm at 8. I don't think they can burst me out. So maybe I have Vampire and Ving Ripper. Assassin. Whatever. The point is, whenever whenever any creatures die, right? So even my Gohound dies. I can sack it whenever I need to. So it's still mana. Oh man, gotta play the game the bad way, but maybe we'll get there. This is Menashe and Trample. Pass the blocks here and here. No first strikes, so... Well, I have first strikes. Defiance. Prowess is fine. Plus two, plus zero lifelink. That's six, sure. I take six, but then I gain four. So, I gain a lot. I gain a lot. Now, to cast the stupid spell. Yeah, I can't get the tricks to work, but I can at least hard cast it. No three, and I get to cast a card for free. Lifelink. Uh, let's see here. I can give this lifelink. I gain eight life that way. He has no cards. Or, I can gain three life with the uh, Lightning Helix and get rid of one of his attackers. No, 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 no. This gives me another treasure. Also, I gain 5 life this way, right? I remove that and also gain life from killing one of his creatures. So, I'm just gonna hold up a blocker. I can't block, this is Menace. Forgot about that. Monster's Rage. Yeah. I'm down to 6 again. Now we get to push and pull. Get to pull 2 cards from his graveyard. What can I pull? A. Nothing good. Maybe I would just push it. If I push it, he gets to draw a card. I think that's fine. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. Yeah. I have to push to get the Lila out. Auto play. This will give me the Lila. But it's not uh, not the cast trigger anymore, so 
He gets to draw that card. I go to eight. Now I can attack. He goes to 13. I have a blocker and I also have auto war up to bounce whatever he plays. GG, I guess. Stupid mono red. Mono red with extra steps. That's what you get for having extra steps. You lose. Alright, our opponent's Ben Frid. Ben Frid? Ben Fire? I don't know. I hope he's fired. You go first. Oh boy. That's a terrible hand to go first, huh? This, Morgan. this is not better. It's not better. Uh, let's see. We got Push Pull. Lila, I do want that so I can put back a Float Sam, I guess. Or do I put back Tainted -tain Indulgence? So I can't actually draw. Well, I can't actually use the Float Sam either, so let's put this back. Tap land, go. I don't think I have that many Haunted Ridges. I think these are, these are it. Green. Mono green. Red. Mono Green will probably blow my widespread demons. No, Naya. Okay. Naya's interesting. So, we have a very good star against Naya. Let's see if I can hold that star, though. I'm not sure about that. Uh, let's see. What do I want to hide? No time explore. So, I need to give value off the Lila. If my widespread. Um, thieving doesn't go away. I can definitely give value of the Lila. But if they blow it up, I'm gonna lose it. Okay, exile. I have no card to exile right now, so good. Whenever it attacks, right? Also, there's vigilance. Molten Collapse. I can Lila and Molten Collapse this. That might be important. But then I'll lose my. Do I lose my Lila here? One collapse gives me one card. I have a 4-4. Four, four. Let's see if he wants to kill my Lila. I still have a Moon Collapse on plot. I can heal it, yeah, of course. Makes sense, but I, I have so much on board now. Now I'm bored. I have so much value now. And he took a whole turn off for that. Now he's thinking about it, and he tossed that lightning helix a little bit quick, and I'm sure he's not quite sure what to do next. He doesn't want to play a treasure because he knows I can blow it up. He can play a land, right? He definitely has a land. He's holding on to which land to play. Alright. So. I can Molten Collapse. The Gallagreter. And then the board's not really that scary. If I'm going to do that, let me get two treasures. I want a Vein Ripper. kind of scary though he does have a lot of damage already Gwena okay Gwena is not ace which means next turn I need to get big damage through this is a free cast basically I get two treasure and I get to cast this for free I have to toss one I guess I'll toss the gold hound my turn Alright, I don't have enough. I don't want to. Hmm, do I want to play the Auto Wara? So, what I can do here is Molten Collapse. So, if I play the. No, I, I can't get the Ill Time Explosion to happen. So, I could Molten Collapse and then get the Vein Ripper to happen. Which one is this? Uh, 
let's see, which one is this? The Bane Ripper one? That's the one I want to happen, right? Auto hit. Bane Ripper comes in. That gets destroyed. And then I... Do I want to play the push-pull? If I play the push-pull here, I actually don't have much. He's got one card left, right? I think I should just push. That gives me a lot of life. And I'm gonna keep my auto aura if I need it. I can bounce something back. Something of his or something of mine? He cycles, good. Yeah, Naya's not really gonna do anything against our deck. Unless I blow up our wise drag leaving. So they quit the game. Alright, our opponent is Flint Sky. Jace Avatar, mono red deck. One goes first, even more obvious is a mono red deck. And then we only have slow cards. So yeah, everything points to a mono red deck, but they're not mono red. They're Boros. I mean, it's a, one or the other, right? Look at this, look at his sleeves. There's no way this guy knows how to play the game. Oh, Weaver of Harmony. Yeah, one kind of bad deck, right? I don't know which kind, but it is one kind. I was wrong, then I was right. So. We collapse this. Probably collapse this. Don't want them to draw two cards. Uh, I don't have any other play, so yeah, let's do it. Some kind of bad deck. Enchantment. Kind of bad deck. Would have Spirit of Companion draw two cards. That's why I didn't want it to happen. That's deep. Weave and thieving. Ill time or Lila. Ill time's pretty good, but I do want Lila for the combo, so maybe I would just take Lila. But I don't actually have any cards to use with Lila. Four mana. What do you got? A Weaver. And then the Michiko. Okay, it's gonna try to deal damage. Bane Ripper is pretty good. I can pull it out of the graveyard, but I gotta kill two things this turn. I could technically kill two things with push pull and then Molten Collapse, but then I will lose. You know what? I'm gonna Molten Collapse the Spirit of Companion. Uh, do I? No, the Weaver, right? Molten Collapse the Weaver, see what happens next. I can use the treasure for Maestro Charm. Three damage is not the end of the world. Generous Visitor. Another Michiko. Pump stat. It's gonna be one, two, three, right? Maestro's Charm's not gonna get there with three, so. Do I do this right now, or do I just take this damage? Let's pull it out. Not a lot of damage on board. Like a Molten Collapse, the Generous Visitor. Do I want to collapse a generous visitor? He doesn't get that big, right? I definitely want to be able to widespread uh, explosion. So... I don't know. I'm not really quite sure what I can I target. It's gonna be 4 damage. Not gonna kill me with 4 damage. Not kill me with that. That's, that's a buttload of damage. Alright, he just keeps... Oh no, this is Restoration. I thought it was Michiko again. He gets a Planes. Get a land. Okay, so will they have 
ossification as their last card. I can one collapse the Michiko so that I don't die. Otherwise, I take four, five, well, five, uh, so, yeah, I take five plus two. It's a lot, huh? Kind of scary, but, you know, it's, it's kind of a war sack creature, so it will lower his creature count. It does get to draw a car with the Spirit of Companion. Circle of Confinement. Not ossification. Does he have ossification? Junkai Naturalist. Not ossification. It's a seven. Do I block? No, I, I guess I have to take seven. That's fine. It might look like it's a lot, but it's something I can take. Because I can Tainted Indulgence. Auto pay. Then I'll draw two cards. I don't want to discard my Lila. If I just deal two damage to the board, it kills this, this, this. I need to deal three damage to the board. Actually, no. If I just deal two damage to the board. I draw two and discard a card. Alright, so I could push pull out the Michiko, but I don't have to. I kind of need to, right? Yeah, I kind of need to do the push pull out the Michiko this turn. And if I do that, he loses both. But I lose my push pull. Gain four life. I mean, honestly, I should have just discarded the push pull had I known that. I, I guess I miscounted. I would have a moon collapse that I wasted. But this is this. Okay, I mean, it didn't matter here. Can I even push pull anything out? I don't have anything in the graveyard, so we'll just do this. Decline. I don't even have anything. What am I paying it for? Quit. GG. I mean, oh, these are four. I could have just attacked him. He would have died. I forgot how good Vayne Ripper is. All right, our opponent is Jan Bird. I thought it was a giant bird. You're you're one T off on greatness, buddy. Uh oh, wow. Go hound, go hound, Vayne Ripper. Um, why not? We're going first. Blue eye control, huh? You don't say. Well, we got a lot of gold, and we're about to hound you. We're gonna kill our gold hound. I mean, not blue eye control. Not blue eye control at all. Okay, so this is gonna be an untapped land, which means we can gold hound this turn. Attack for one, and then we can take that indulgence. An extra Vein Ripper. Some sort of ramp. Annex Sentry. You jerk. Fine. No Vein Ripper for me next turn. Draw two. Discard Xander Lounge, probably. Uh, no, I just fire above Canal. Too many. Too many slow lands. Another Vein Ripper. Alright, what do I hide? Lila? I guess I'll hide a Lila. I don't want to hide a Molten Collapse. It's kind of slow. Do I though? I don't want the Lila to go away. But I also can't play... I mean, honestly, when I pay 5 mana to cast a spell, I don't want it to be a Lila, right? That's the thing. Do they have another Annex Entry? Or can I get the Vein Ripper online? No more gold spells for me. Unfortunately, that was all my gold spells. Uh, yeah, let's let's see what happens. Ten 
Tap land. Another sentry. Make me cry. No? Alright. So, I could play the Ving Ripper and have that get countered. He's got three mana. He's probably hoping to counter a spell. No more lice. No more lies. Uh, yeah, I could not have paid for it anyways because he countered on the stack before I get the uh, treasure. I, uh, you might think that I have this mana here, this mana here, and this mana here, but yeah, I could not have gotten there. But he no more lies a card that I don't care as much about. Mirix. That was a moon smitty. Did not tap his Mirix. 4 4. Pretty scary. What does this do? Uh, oh, he can craft. I don't know. He, he clicked on it. Does it do anything? Enter the battlefield. Search for a plane. That's it. Just, just a plane. Another thieving. Not gonna use that. I'm gonna rip your veins out. Probably got some removal. Some sort of exile based removal for an artifact deck. I'm not putting against that. They could also have my stone, weak stone, but if he does that, he has to sack something. Alright, I get to keep my gold helm. And then it blows up his board. I gained the life. Got one mana spell for something? I don't know. I don't know what that is. No attacks? Interesting. Guess we'll do it again. I don't want to widespread thief into nothing. So we did it again. It was pretty hard for him to kill with the glyph bridge. Does he have another one? If he does. I'm kind of screwed. Whoa, this is going to cost him a lot <laughs> to tap. He can just craft it right now, right? Yeah, he can just craft it if he wants. I get a push-pull. So... Okay. Do I go for the attack first? He just takes it? Wow. Okay. I'm going to start thieving. You got to counter this. I am the second thief. Three steps ahead. Well, I'm okay with that. He taps his whole board. That doesn't hit. That does, but you gotta sack a creature. So, whenever you cast an artifact or creature spell, interesting. Let's see if he wants to take this six. Sack a creature. Sacks his Annex Sentry. I'm gonna drop a Gold Hound. And pass the turn. Or do I want to take out his last surviving creature? Because he can start Mirixing, right? I probably want to do this. Am I going to pull anything out? Pull a Bing Ripper out? You know what? That's fine. He's going to tap my Calamity with the, uh, with the Braided Net. So I just need to make sure his creatures die. All right, that's a 6-6 six, six and, and an 8-8. Eight, eight. Pretty scary. But no haste. No haste, no lifelink. I don't think it matters. You can give a lifelink if he wants. He gives a vigilance. Uh, okay. Why didn't you give a lifelink? Alright, now I have Maestro Charm. Five damage to the sentry. 
Or I can pull out another Vein Ripper, right? That's pretty fun. He's tapped out. I pull out Vein Ripper. Nothing you can do about that. Sacks a creature here, he takes two life. So he takes four life already. And I get two creatures out. They are all hasters. I'm just gonna attack for one, right? This can get through one damage or he can block it. Um, no. If I sack it, it's four damage. So I attack for six. You block. Take four. Damage. Take another two. Good game. Welcome back everyone. Now that you've seen those games, how did you feel about this deck? I personally, uh, I think there's a, a lot of room for improvement in this deck. The way I've played it, the way I've enjo uh, enjoyed playing today's games, I, I do think there are uh, a lot of room for improvements. And there's a lot of room to, you know, uh, adjust the colors. Because right now, because I, uh, uh, the deck I found was Grixis, I wanted to try Grixis. But what I've noticed is Maestro Charm is not that good. Molten Collapse is trash. So uh, it does help us kill a lot of creatures, but honestly, what I would much rather have in terms of Molten Collapse, instead of Molten Collapse, I'd rather, is Lightning Helix, right? So many games where if a, a Molten Collapse was a Lightning Helix, I would have much more value with that game. But Lightning Helix is white-red. Uh, I do want to have Tata Indulgence, which is blue-black. So what am I gonna do? I can't have Tata Indulgence and Molten Collapse. I think I might cut uh, all of this and make it Jeskai instead of Tainted -tain Indulgence we're gonna run the uh, what is that white uh, what is that white blue instant source we call it? Faithful Mending I might run Faithful Mending and instead of Moon Collapse I might oh, I will run Lightning Helix I turned it into a Jeskai deck and uh, I might cut the Vein Ripper for the Red Dragon the Red from Rush Hour 2 no the Red Dragon I forgot it's uh what is that called? The five mana one. Uh, Terror of the Peaks, right? I might do that, but I do think Vein Ripper is better than uh, Terror of the Peaks just because this gains us life. Even though it only does two damage, this does three damage, uh, it gains us life, which is important. And also, this does not uh, make our opponent sack a creature. This uh, does make our opponent sack a creature. So th there's a lot of considerations on do I run Terror of the Peaks or do I run Vein Ripper or do I run, you know, three each? Uh, there's a lot to consider, but I do think the, uh, you know, if I run the uh, Faithful Mending and Lightning Helix, I will be able to fight against aggressive decks a lot better. But that's a different deck, right? The different deck that I'm going to craft for a later date. If you want to run Grixix, I think this deck is the better version of Grixix. Uh, this definitely gets us the treasure that we need in the early game, and then this can help us kind of hit off with our Lila combo. So yeah, this deck still works. I do like this deck. I do like the way it, it, it plays out. I do think it's very strong in at least the current meta game because we have board wipes, we have you know aggressive tempo, and we have combo finishers. So we can win. It's just you might get a 50 to 55% win rate if you are lucky. And if you're unlucky, you might hit like a 45, 40% win rate just uh, when you keep running it to super aggressive decks on the draw, uh, when you're on the draw. Uh, it's a little bit harder to fight against, and unless you had the perfect curve and get our Lila turn uh, turn four, right? Get three, get widespread thieving turn two, get uh, some combo turn three or some removal turn three, and on turn four we get to Lila plus uh, push or pull or one of these combo cards, and then we get to uh, slot in the Vein Rippers and kill our opponent that way. Yeah, that's gonna be very rare, but yeah, it does happen, right? If that fringe scenario do happen, you'll be pretty happy about it. That's what, how I feel about this deck. I, I like it. It's not the best, but it is fun, to say the least. That's all I got for you today. Thank you very much for joining me, and I will see you guys next time.